Good morning, everybody. We made it. We're at Castle in the, in the Clouds again. I can't speak this morning. Castle in the Clouds. <laughs> we made it back. We're in the new car. I'll be talking about that along the way. Um, we started with 231 miles to the charge, 100%. We got down to like 113. So I'm probably going to have to charge on the way home, but that's okay. It's just one charge. So should be pretty good. We're heading up towards Mount Roberts. I don't have my snowshoes with me and it's not really broken out, but it's well-traveled. So we'll see how far we go today. And uh, I'll talk to you down the trail. Oh, I should probably be turned around. We're at the first viewpoint. Here. See? Look! View. <laughs> Um, this is on our way up to Mount Roberts. I didn't choose Mount Roberts. I didn't want to, but the turnoff for the other trails is just groomed for cross country. So I didn't want to mess that up. So we're going to see how far we go up Mount Roberts. I'm, I don't have to summit. I was really just here to see how good the car would go, would do. So anyway, I have my Appalachian gear company alpaca fleece hoodie on it is super warm i'm almost wanting to take my puffy off but i know that's not a good idea so i will talk to you all down the trail Catching my breath on the ledges. Wow, got a little view today. It's snowing out, and I'm getting my butt kicked, but that's okay because we're hiking. Isis just wants to go, and I'm going to stop this so I can take a picture, and I'll talk to you up the trail. We're back. All right. That's where we're heading. We're up here now. We might as well make it to the summit. So it's pretty quiet on the trails. Um, but this one is hesitant a lot, which I'm not happy about. So as long as we keep hiking, she'll get back into it. But she's definitely on guard. She's doing the best she can, and I'm really proud of her. So, yep, Isis, we're going to get going now, okay? All right, I went in up to my knees up there. That's too much for that dog. So she turned us around and now we're hightailing it down the mountain. It's okay, we had that great view at the ledges. And like I said, I'm just out to hike and see how the car does. Which I know I promised that I would talk a lot about the car, but I've just been enjoying the hike, so whatever. <laughs> and now, I think I gotta put this away so that I can navigate the speed of my dog. <laughs> so we just raced down the mountain because Isis got in a little bit of a panic. She doesn't like to be above her head in snow. And I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't even continue with my snowshoes because she doesn't have any and she's barely a foot tall. And I was going in up to my knees. So we're back at the first little outlook. It's still a beautiful day. I love the snow falling. The temperatures are good. I don't even have my gloves on. This alpaca fleece hoodie is awesome. Um, it's a little bit too warm, believe it or not. So it's, it's a good piece to have. 
you know, um, and I'll be wearing it a lot more. So, so yeah, I got a new car, a 2023 Chevy Bolt EUV electric utility vehicle. It gets 247 miles to a full charge. That's on a good day. On an excellent day, it could get a little bit more. In winter, it gets a little bit less. I had 231 when I woke up this morning to a full charge. It was 106 miles to get up here and we made it. We'll have to charge a little bit on the way home. I just need like a little bump, which is fine. That's perfect. That's just what I want. Um, it's got all the bells and whistles that I want. It's got a uh, heated steering wheel, heated seats. It's got cruise control. It's got um, an infotainment center that I'm just barely digging into, but I listen to a lot of Pandora right now anyway. It's got a radio, it's got XM and all that good stuff. It's got OnStar and it's got navigation and it's got one pedal driving. So if you're familiar with electric cars, one pedal driving, you don't have to use your brakes, which cuts down again on the maintenance. Not that there's a lot of maintenance with electric cars anyway. Um, and I've been going on for about two minutes, so I'm gonna cut it short because the wind is picking up and ISIS wants to go. And we're gonna go find some lower trails to probably hike around on. Um, because the day is not over yet. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, so far so good. We just ran into a dog who was off leash. I asked them politely to leash their dog and I explained what happened to Isis. They obliged, we got by and we went on with our hike, and so did they. So that's good. It's always nice when people are understanding. So we'll uh, see if we can find some lower trails down here to maybe walk around on and uh, see what we can make of the day. We've hooked on to uh, the pond trail, which just takes us around a little pond for like a half a mile, but it's crossing by this nice little stream. And uh, yeah, blue, blue sky. Can you, what? There you go. There you go. Blue sky. Beautiful day down here. I think we're just about done though. Isis is kind of reaching her limit and she's pulling me back towards the car. So we'll see what we can do, um, and I'll show you the stream. All right, bye. All right, there's the pond. There's my dog pulling us on towards the car, unless she smells something that she likes. <laughs> so, I did get a workout today, so I'm pretty happy. Oh. And there'll be other hikes. I got some other things that I want to do. So I'll tell you about those at the car. First dog prints in the new car. <laughs> All right, I gotta get changed. I'll be right back. Like I said, wanted to get out today. I don't even care what the mileage is. We get out, we got some fresh air. I got some steps in. Ice has got some exercise too. It was just too much for her up top, which was fine. So we have about 113 miles on the car. We'll get some regeneration because I have regenerative braking too, which puts miles back on the car, like regenerates energy and whatnot. I can't trust it because of the last time that I tried to get up north and I'll put the link to that video in the, down below. 
So, so we're going to find a place to charge and um, just get a little bump so that we can get home. And I'm going to call this trip a success. All right, we made it down to Tilton. I'm just getting a little bit of a charge to get us home. I'm at that credit union um, from the previous video with my leaf when I had all of those issues. So this one was reliable that day. So I figured might as well just come back here, bump it up a little bit, and uh, then we'll be home before we know it. Not bad today, okay? One charging stop is just fine. You know, I'll probably be here maybe 45 minutes, maybe an hour. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so the hike was good. The car is great. I mean, I love this car. I've, I've never had a car so fancy. Um, so I'm looking forward to taking it on more trips. What I want to do is um, on my vacation... I want to go up to Crawford Notch. I think even in winter, I'll have enough miles to do that. Um, get to the Highland Center, which is, I believe I was in the, the leaf video. I went to the Highland Center, but I want to take a longer hike. I want to hike up Pierce, you know, get above tree line for a little while and let the car charge while I'm hiking. That's, that's a pretty good day. You know, so I should have enough to get home by the time I'm done hiking. Um, so lots of experimenting coming up. But we're going to sit here and charge and have some snacks and things like that. And um, I'll probably talk to you maybe when I get home. If not, this will be the wrap up. So we'll see what happens. Bye. We made it home. <laughs> had 15 miles left on the car by the time I pulled into the garage. So I love this car. It's it's gonna be so much better than the Leaf. It's gonna be easier to get up north when I want to. It's gonna be easier to get around to other places like over to Vermont and things like that. Um, so I'm very impressed. And I'm calling today a complete success. We actually only charged at that credit union in Tilton. New Hampshire for about a half hour and that gave us enough to get home and it's charging now because I'm not going out anywhere um so it can just charge up and it'll be ready for whatever I have to do tomorrow and we're going to start planning the next hike I don't know exactly when it's going to be um I've got one week of work left then it's the weekend but I've got to catch up on a bunch of stuff around here so it probably won't be until my vacation in which case it might be Mount Pierce I don't know we'll see how I feel we'll see what the weather's like you know we just got slammed with like three storms so anything is possible it's melting right now but um it could all freeze up again who knows so I will definitely catch you on the next hike and we'll keep adventuring together all right bye